the subject of my talk today is about something that is smarter than you are. It is faster than you could ever possibly be. And it doesn't need trust to work efficiently. Today, I am going to talk about artificial intelligence. As scary as it may sound, robots taking over the world, AI is an inevitable transition human species will have to go through in order to adapt. So it is better to appropriate the mindset, how can I take advantage of this AI revolution? Instead of, the future is scary, and I feel better when I don't think about it. For those of you that know, know me, you also probably know that I've been creating YouTube videos for the last four years. For every video, I had to come up with an idea, write the script for this idea, film myself, and then edit the video. Recently, ChatGPT has been released to the public. With a raise of hand, how many of you have heard of ChatGPT? OK. <laughs> well, for those of you that don't know, ChatGPT is an AI in the form of a chat box, which is trained on large language databases and is capable of creating its own unique texts. So previously, to create a YouTube video, I had to go through a critical and challenging process. And now, with the help of AI, more than half of my video will be generated without any sleepless nights. ChatGPT wrote a compelling and personal script for me in less than a minute. It was indistinguishable from any other good one on YouTube. This is just a simple example of how powerful AI is becoming and how easily it will replace human work. Now, I want everybody to close their eyes and take a deep breath. <sighs> Imagine yourself in 10 years. Do you think you'll thrive or we will be replaced by an AI robot? This is a question I've been recently asking myself quite frequently. And you can open your eyes now. You no longer need them to be closed. Uh, in order to convey my answers to you the best way possible, I need you to imagine AI as a new species coming to town with which you have to compete. To do so effectively, you need to do three things. First, you need to develop skills that will make you more valuable than AI itself. Secondly, you need to outcompete other people that have the very same access to the same AI as you. And lastly, I will tell you how to live a happy life while doing the previous two effectively. So let's begin with how to beat the machines. But before that, I want to explain how AI works. AI can be compared to a vast library with an incredibly intelligent librarian. Just as a librarian can um, suggest books, AI can also make patterns, AI can also analyze based on patterns and similarities. And just as a librarian can recommend books based on a person's interest, AI can also make suggestions and predictions based on its analysis of the data. Now, if you think that this is boring, ChatGPT wrote it, so you can blame it. But <laughs> here comes the first skill you need to develop. Pattern recognition, pattern utilization, and pattern creation. Let me give you an example. Seasons are patterns. On a repeating cycle, you have winter, spring, summer, fall. Learning to utilize this pattern was probably one of humans' biggest accomplishments, since they understood they had to plant a seed at the right time of the year in order for fruit to grow. This is a, an example of spotting a pattern and utilizing it. Now, AI can do the same thing. What it cannot do on its own, however, is creating unique patterns. You see, AI is limited to our experience. And most of the innovations that have occurred throughout history were the complete opposite of what our experience has taught us. We believe that if one was in the United States, he couldn't have talked to somebody in Australia in real time unless they met in person. It took somebody like Alexander Bell to create a new pattern. So that's skill number one, creating patterns. But just as, just as a librarian can make mistakes or overlook important information, AI can also make errors if it's not properly trained or if it's given incomplete or biased data. Here comes the second skill, 
don't fully rely on AI and learn to think for yourself. When I asked ChatGPT to write countries starting with the letter V, it simply said there are none, or that it might have missed a lesser known one. Well, ChatGPT, if Venezuela or Vietnam are lesser known countries, then yes, you've definitely missed them. Following AI blindly may lead you to form many false beliefs. And may isn't even the right word here. We will lead you to form many false beliefs. I would rather under recommend understanding how your environment works and its interconnections. And probably one of the most important interconnections you ever have to learn, not just for the sake of the AI revolution, is the mastery of undefined logics. What is undefined logic, you may ask? Well, emotions are one. There is no logic that can be observed in them. For example, parents can feel both thrilled to see their child flourish socially, but can also feel devastated that their kid no longer seems to spend the same amount of time with them. When one expresses such contradictory emotions, it can be very hard to follow any logic in them. But we as humans, contrary to AI, can understand them intuitively. And that's where our power hides, in intuition. So that's the way you beat artificial intelligence. With pattern creation, independent thinking, and intuition. Now that I've solved this problem, another question arises. How to outcompete other people? Let's vote. How many of you think that society's masks of the future will quite literally look like walking zombies? Just take into consideration the negative impact social media had had on us already. And imagine how the world would look like after AI. So raise your hand if you think people of the future will look like zombies. Why would they look like zombies, though? Because they won't make any decisions, take no risks, or action. And that's the first skill that will make you stand out from the crowd, taking action. I've come to realize that the information itself is useless unless one applies it in the physical world through his actions. And the future will provide you with an overload of information which will make you overanalyze. And you don't want that, because it doesn't get you anywhere. In order to win, you have to take action. But you can make a lot of mistakes if you just act. Don't worry, here comes the second quality. Don't look for the what. Understand why and, so and how something works. This will improve your critical thinking and will give a sense of direction and clarity to your actions. By deeply understanding why something is the way it is, you can manipulate the outcome to your favor. For example, I'm so dressed up today because I know the effect my clothes will have on my credibility. And, then, and this gives a sense of purpose to my action of, cloth, of dressing. However, taking action and knowing why you take it is still not enough. My father used to say, the strong aren't the ones who survive. No, otherwise dinosaurs would still be alive. It's those who adapt that stay in the game. This is the, the third skill that you need to develop, adaptation. To solve one problem, you need a certain set of skills. To solve another, you need totally different qualities. Learn how to remodel yourself, your profession, and your identity. And learn how to do it for the rest of your life. And the last skill, that you make you outcompete the zombies of the future is to simply be above them. As always, on the top of the social food chain stays the one in control, the leader. That will never change. Because no matter the huge technological difference our lives are going to have, we will always stay social creatures. Learn how to tell great stories, how to use empathy, how to influence people. Be the one in control. So now that I've given you three skills to become more valuable than AI and four skills to outcompete other people, you might think I'm done. But as I said in the beginning of the speech, there is one last crucial component that will complete the whole master plan of you taking over the world. How to live a happy life. I believe there are three pieces for a happy life in the future. Building healthy relationships, 
functioning in an exceptional physical condition, and spending time in nature. Firstly, I've come to realize that the quality of our lives is almost fully dependent on our relationships with others. It doesn't matter whether we possess the most powerful and advanced gadget on the planet if we don't have actual healthy interactions with other human beings. Because when you think about it, why would you need the most advanced AI software if it's not to improve the quality of your life and of others as well? You definitely won't need AI on an abandoned island, but rather social contact, right? So, in my opinion, you should nurture your relationships and experience a great dose of joy from them. The best way to do so is to contribute and to make society a better place. Secondly, much like an AI software needs an efficient processor to run smoothly, you need to build a healthy body in order to perform exceptionally. I really like the Latin saying, men sana in corpore sano, healthy mind in a healthy body. Have you ever noticed how when you're in a cheerful mood, only positive thoughts arise? That's because your energy levels, nutrition, sleep, and physical fitness play a tremendous role on your mental health. Take care of them. You don't want to live in a rusty body, right? And last, but certainly not least, spend time in nature. The future is very interesting. It will be based in realities that aren't even real. The internet, the metaverse, just imagine the oasis from Ready Player One. As we move towards an increasingly technologically driven world, I believe that spending time in nature is the only thing that will keep you sane. Don't believe me, go in the mountain for a walk to see the effect. Nature separates you from the busy lifestyle technology has limited you to and gives you mindfulness. What a better habit to develop and certainly one that will bring you fulfillment and happiness. Here are the 10 skills I've discussed in this presentation that you need to improve upon. Feel free to take a picture if you think you forget them. Wow, I take a selfie for Instagram. Zele. <laughs> to finish off, I want you to close your eyes and take a deep breath. Imagine yourself in 10 years. Do you think you'll thrive or will be replaced by an AI robot? Thank you very much.